Canvas on a mission to empower the world to design. And this extends to all your creative endeavors. Whether you're writing reports, running workshops, or creating compelling social content, Canva is your one-stop shop. In this video, we'll explore three diverse document types, docs, whiteboards, and video editing, offering you a range of solutions for all your creative challenges. Back on the home screen, you'll notice these icons representing the different document types in Canva. Select one and a blank template will open, or you'll see a selection of document types from this category. The print button offers document types prepared for professional printing that you can get delivered to your door. Choose more to see the complete list, from popular options to specific items. All these Canva document types utilize the same tools and features, giving you a consistent design experience. However, it's worth pointing out a few distinctions. Canva Docs is designed for all text-based documents, like reports, letters, proposals, or even just to jot down some notes. It's supercharged with video, images, charts, tables, and so much more. The Templates tab holds a large variety of docs for every use case. It's a great way to fast track your ideas, whether it's a team retro, a business proposal, or a lesson plan. Choose one to replace the current design. To customize a document banner like this one, Tap to select it and choose Edit Design from the bottom toolbar. Choose a new image from the Elements tab and select Replace Background here. Change the text like this. When you're happy, tap Save. In the Elements tab, you'll find Columns and highlight blocks. These are great for drawing attention to important information. To move it, tap and hold the move icon and then drag it. Select an empty space on the dock and tap this button. This provides access to a wide range of tools that speed up and improve your dock making experience. Not least of these is MagicWrite, Canva's AI powered writing assistant. Use five words or more to describe what you want. Hit generate, and in seconds, you'll have a unique result ready to insert. Select some text and go here to get even more magic right options. If you're collaborating on a doc with others, quickly switch between editing modes here. For example, use suggesting mode to propose changes for someone else to approve, like this. Okay, let's swap this image for a video. Because it's a Canva doc, you have the freedom to add anything that helps express your ideas better. Have fun with it. Docs don't ever need to be boring. This time, we'll choose a whiteboard. It's a tool that transforms meetings into highly productive workshops. In templates, tap any type of activity you'd like to run. Choose as many as you like. Maybe this one too. Whiteboards provide an infinite canvas for mapping out your ideas. You can easily zoom in and zoom out by pinching. Navigate around by holding your finger and dragging. Each template is fully editable, allowing you to tailor it to your unique requirements. Let's delete this. In Elements, you'll find sticky notes. This creates a note where you can leave ideas and feedback. Tapping the plus symbol adds another note, 
which is especially useful when ideas are flowing rapidly. Whiteboards become truly interactive when the entire team participates. To facilitate this, go to the share menu, enter their emails, and watch as real-time collaboration unfolds. Your teammates can jump in and jam with you wherever they are in the world. To encourage a collaborative environment, show support for teammates' ideas by adding a whiteboard sticker. As you'd expect with Canva, you can add photos, charts, videos, or any other element you need to keep the conversation flowing. Speaking of videos, you'll notice it's also an option in the visual suite. Tap on the icon and choose what you'd like to create. These templates are perfect for fast tracking your creation. Back in the editor, although it may look pretty familiar by now, you'll notice one key difference, the video timeline. When working with video and audio, it's more helpful to visualize your project using scenes instead of pages. You'll see the timing of each scene here. The black line is called the playhead. It shows us what will be on the screen at a particular time in the video. Drag it like this to fast forward or rewind your preview. You could also press the play button to watch it through. Down here, you'll find the audio track. In Canva video, it's easy to add music. Tap here and choose a new audio track from the library. Preview here and tap the name to add it. Tap a video here and select replace. Then choose a video from camera roll, uploads, or Canva's video library. Adjust the length of the clip by dragging the edges of the scene in the timeline like this. With a scene selected, tap Animate in the toolbar. Tap these options to see what they do. Select Text and you'll get access to special text animations. What about transitions between two scenes? Tap in between them and try out the different transition animations. Choose the duration and direction. Use this button to see total length and preview your video. Looking good. To download, just go to the share menu and choose an MP4 video or share directly with your socials. That's three very different document types you can create in Canva. And there are many others. Before moving forward, why not explore one of them? Try building a free website or check out the print options. From t-shirts to cushions or coasters, the only limit is your imagination.